the S&P today has absolutely gone mental. We opened up in a very big gap to the downside. What had happened was right before the market opened around 8.30 Eastern time, we had some inflation data that hit. Uh, seemingly, the market was not too happy. The market tanked on that news, opening up in this large gap. Once the market opened, we then proceeded to just go straight up after tanking straight up. Let me actually pull this in just for context. This is what the overnight session looked like. After that news hit, we just absolutely tanked coming into the open. Once the open, uh, once we opened, we just shot up like a rocket turning down for what? Going up about 70 points somewhere in that ballpark, then turning around, hitting some real resistance right around the close of the previous session. And then we just went coast to coast, putting in over 100 points worth of range, hanging out near those lows right now. Absolutely insane day. I'd be happy to hear how you all did. I hope you guys all stayed safe. I'm sure that this was a very difficult session for most people, uh, myself included. Not an easy session to pick up on. I think how we responded on that news, how we opened, and then how we've turned, this was all very, very crazy. I'm sure this is just speaking into the insane amount of uncertainty right now and what a hot topic inflation is. Okay, let's drill into a couple of things. Honestly, there are so there, there is so much to cover inside this session because of how much range we've gone through, because of how uh, this shaped up. There's like we could spend an hour just picking out individual parts of this day. Very interesting the way that it shaped up. I'm going to drill into one specific trade for you guys, or at least one specific area, uh, and then let's talk about that. I'm going to back this up, and there'll be a nice hidden gem, I'm sure, to be taken out of this. <clears throat> bring this in, bring this in, bring this in. Okay, what we have going on here is once the S&P started to make its downward descent, uh, I had an option to get in for a short opportunity. The market was pinging around, kind of building up a range, getting in at the uh, upper part of this range, looking for the LVN that I have at 4150 to get broken and for this to make a return down. Ultimately wanted to see it test into the open. Also, this was a value area high from a micro composite that we're going to look at in just a moment. Very important on today. But here's the thing I want to talk about. Entering in on this short, the market was being very volatile, very choppy, got to a situation of taking something off, Rotated down, popped back up, rotated down slightly below this level, popped right back up, seemingly doing a good job of holding this. Then we started to move lower. This action in here took several minutes, had to sit through several minutes of chop. Uh, able to sit through an entire another leg to the downside. For whatever reason, we just stopped like uh, uh, an absolute crazy person. Here at the 45.25, this level was just... Gandalf in it with the you shall not pass. You can see the insane amount of attempts that we had to break lower. Uh, we just weren't having it. But here's the main thing. Entering in this trade, in the idea of not treating every trade the same, but really understanding before we ever get into a trade, what is the likelihood or what is the potential on this? Because it's fairly rare that I'm going to hold a trade for a 20 point move. Um, ended up getting back in short as we held this LVN, wrote it for another nearly 15 points to the downside. And it's very rare that I capture this much movement, but it's also very rare that the market is going to shoot up 70 points and then drop, you know, to go 100 points on the day. This is also very rare. And so getting into this trade, it is very, it was very difficult to even sit through this chop. And then it was very difficult not to touch this as it was working. And I, I, I know all of us can relate to being in a position where a trade is working against us or, or a trade is going in our favor. And we almost have these crazy impulses to just get the trade off almost as fast as we can. It's almost like we can't stand being in a winning trade. Uh, all of us have gone through this. I was going through this as this was happening. But very important to understand where your trades, where that potential is and where that trade is likely to go if it works. If this continued to flush and if this was going to keep breaking through these levels, returning back down to this uh, value area high, 
was where this trade was heading, if this trade worked. If it didn't work, this thing would have popped up, it would have kicked me out, the trade would have been over. But if this worked, there was a good 30 points or so to the downside. Very important to understand that because in certain trades, if you're only looking maybe 10 points or less and something starts working in your favor, then you really need to be, and maybe you're in a position where you can think about taking that trade off or securing even some more profits. But in a position, just being able to weigh in risk to reward as a trade develops, um, understanding that getting this little chop situation, we just cannot be lightening the load uh, for a trade that has massive potential. As part of my process, always going to scale out first to kind of mitigate some of the risk. And then beyond that, it's really a process of letting the trade work. In a situation like this, really have to just let these things go and run to you know their full potential. We ended up having another big leg to the downside before quite a bit of pulling back, uh, going right in line with what I say quite often. We don't ever have to catch the tops and the very bottoms of these moves. Catching the meat of them is more than enough to make a, a great living out of this. The market ended up just doing a lot of other action, having a, a, a bit of a scale out scratch for this trade, caught a little bit of a move up for uh, a little bit of the move up, caught a short for a little bit of the move down, and I think that that was my last trade on the day. Sat through the rest of this chop and haven't participated as we've just been going down for additional leg to the downside. Okay.